Looking for treasure or something of old Hoping for silver or better yet gold Well, I got the marine plywood for the transom on this boat. Look at this. That's just with a little bit of bleach and a quick scrub right before it started raining. <laughs> it already looks better. Um, I got this cut out here. Got the old, this would be my pattern for uh, for the new wood. Look how rotten that wood is. Isn't that amazing? Anyway, this would be the pattern for my new wood. I got the two pieces cut already. Now I just need to put that on there and kind of scribe it. And that should do it. Give me close enough. Of course, you know, I got to scrape and clean all this back here. But, uh, That'll get me close enough to to get going on it, but yeah, it's uh, cause that side looks looked like the inside, so I'll bleach it down real good and scrub it up good and take a look at it. Um, what didn't I get? Oh, I didn't get the uh, the lumber for the bunks over there. I went to a place. I called them. They had it. I went and I actually paid them for it. And uh, for that bunks for that trailer there, and then we went back to get it. The only thing they had was three or four boards that were were definitely thirds or fourths. They were definitely not. Uh, I wouldn't even say they're seconds. They were. They're in bad shape, so I wouldn't take them anyway. Uh, yeah, it turned out all right because it. Uh, it started torrential, torrentially pouring, so ended up having to cut this short. But that's okay. Made some progress. Um, Got to get some fiberglass and some resin. Eh, what else? Uh, fiberglass mat, fiberglass roving, some resin, some gel coat, and. There isn't that much to do on that one, really. I'll have to get it where it's able to flip over and fix that bottom on the keel. So, we're making progress. I guess I can quit rambling now, can I? Alright. We, uh, we're getting some progress made. Got the transom out. Get some of this water out of here. Get all this muck out of here, we'll be good to go. Most of this out, and I can get some of it out with a flat shovel. Now that the water's gone, and what I can't get out, I'll uh, vacuum up. I got most of it out up here, most of it here. I got all that to clean up. And then we'll get the bleach out so anyway here's what it looks like I'm in the process of bleaching um, and I'll I'll get the vacuum and the shop back and scrape and I'm gonna rinse all this down real quick but I've got all the big chunks out I'm gonna have to shape and grind and get into the fun part of fiberglassing got to remove all these screws here but just kind of getting it to a point where I can work on it right now. And this is after just the first bleach with no with no uh, no scrubbing or anything on it. And here's the side that I haven't done yet. 
so you can pretty much see what this looks like. Anyway, okay, here's what it looks like after a gallon of bleach and some soft scrub. Actually about a gallon and a half, I guess, of bleach. I had a piece of one and then a full one. But now, it's actually ready to get started on. Got to pull all these out. All these screws got to come out of here. Uh, those spray rails got to come off. But what didn't come off was just a water hose and the soft scrub and brush should be able to pressure wash it now and get most of it and then just scratch it down with some rough 50 or 36 just to scratch it to so it'll stick but you know this is this thing was redone 20 years plus so I used it for a few years okay it's all traced out Ready to cut. I don't know if I'm going to start this or not. The, um, where it looks like we're imminent for rain. I'll just look at it for a second. Okay, I've started cutting it. I've got it just pegged together here so both the boards stay attached to each other. And I've got it, these, just these two screws where I can miss it with the skill saw. I know a lot of y'all know this, and, but when you're using a skill saw and you're trying to cut out something with an inside corner like that, you run your blade right up to it just because of the configuration of a skill saw where it's round. You need to stop right there, come back with like a reciprocating saw or some other type of saw that'll, that'll saw straight, uh, jigsaw will work. And then, same thing with here. Run your blade right till it touches the line and quit. And another thing is, whenever you're using a skill saw, make sure that your blade just protrudes past the bottom of your wood. You don't want it sucked all the way down. That's what happens, uh, or that's what causes the saw to bind and kick back on you is when you've got it, well, that's one of the reasons when you've got it, got it down. Okay, let me cut out the rest of this and then we'll get going. What I'm going to do here is I've got some one bys on the ground right here. I'll probably put a one by under here because the saw isn't set deep enough. I may have to sacrifice one, you know, with a saw blade mark in it, but they're scrap anyway. Yes starting to rain see the drops of rain hitting here I'm going to use a recipro reciprocating saw and to finish this this cut get this out far enough where it's not hitting it see where this is going here. Okay, that side's done. Move that out of the way again.
and there you go. That's that. Stop raining. Good thing. Okay, I need to uh, finish these three cuts here, here, and here with a skill saw. And then it should be roughed out. I'm going to leave them screwed together for now until I get it fitted. I'll probably get the uh, fit it with that little uh, oscillating saw and uh, grinder. It's roughed in, it's centered. Now I'm going to have to uh, I'm going to have to cut about a quarter inch maybe three eighths on each side here get the slip on each side of the tunnel but the width is good got some work to do on the corners here to, so this will kind of get rid of some of that old glass on the ends but it's pretty close uh, once it's fitted and of course you come back and grind all this I don't want to grind but one time so once it gets close then you come in there with a the grinder bed it clamp it and glass it and it should be okay yep it should be good pretty cool there's the first rough fit it looks like it's going to work out pretty good I got to do some more, get some of this stuff out of the way uh, here, trim a little bit along that edge right there where that tunnel is so it'll slide in there smooth, take those, cut those drain plugs out, those are going to have to be re-drilled and they make a tool where you put them in there and it, it knurls in kind of like a uh, uh, copper tubing. It goes up in there and then you crank down on it with a wrench and it curls the end around. So, looks like we're going to have a success here before long. Okay, I got in there with the oscillating saw. Shh, trimmed it up some. Got the shop back out, shop backed everything. And let's see how close we're getting. Find somewhere, where is it? I have to open this up just a little bit more inside here. Not quite want to slide, but and I don't want to get it in there so tight I have problems getting it out because I need to be able to see that it's close all the way around. We're about four inches or so from going down all the way yeah it's touching on the inside on both of those so uh, let me trim a little more out of the inside of that that tunnel cut out well, we ought to be getting close rocking on that, that tunnel cut out there. So getting real close. It's uh getting down this uh this is off here but it's that much up here is what it's gotta go here just about. It's hitting right down there in that corner. I'm either gonna have to trim this corner at a little of an angle but first I'm gonna look in the bottom and make sure Something isn't holding it up, but as you can see, it's getting pretty good. 
me just a touch down on that side. It, it would actually, that side is fine. I mean, by the time you get it bedded and glassed, there's, uh, there's nowhere it can go. But uh, I'm getting very close. Here it is. It's uh, plenty close enough for me. This took a combination of trimming and grinding. I could probably trim just a little bit off there, which I might later, but time this gets glassed and roving, bedded with 5200, you couldn't beat that thing out of there with a sledgehammer in a week to do it. So anyway, I'm done for today. I am bowling sweat. It is hot out here. Thanks for watching.